new timing, son of a... Honey. <laughs> what are you doing? We can fix anything. Collision Specialist CSI, two blocks north of I-90 on 218. Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse reporting from the Austin Daily Herald, bringing you some of today's top headlines. An Austin man who allegedly choked a woman, tore out of her eyelashes, and snapped off several of her fingernails pleaded not guilty to two domestic assault charges Thursday. Gary Bledsoe, 20, faces charges of misdemeanor domestic assault and felony domestic assault by strangulation in the case. According to Police Chief Brian Creer, the woman told police she had been sleeping in her home with her child when Bledsoe woke her up and asked if he could see her phone. When she gave it to him, he allegedly snapped it in half, pulled her up from the bed, and began yanking on her hair. He then allegedly tore at her eyelashes, snapped off several of her fingernails, and choked her with one hand until she couldn't breathe or swallow. Let's take it to Daily Herald reporter Matt Peterson with today's Weather on the Rough. Hopefully the weather will be a little bit brighter. Matt, what's going on? Thanks, Trey. Welcome to a little bit more warm weather outside, but enjoy it while you can because it's not going to last. Although it's cloudy now, Austin will be partly sunny with a high of 52 this afternoon. Tonight, temps are going to drop down to about 41, and the rain is expected to uh, roll into overnight. And actually, that might turn into a little bit of snow, too, as it gets colder. Uh, Austin has a 90% chance of precipitation tomorrow afternoon and into the evening, which could bring anywhere from a half inch to three quarters of an inch of uh, accumulation. Uh, snow will make its way back Wednesday uh, with a chance of snow every day for the rest of the week, too. Temps will drop lower throughout the week with highs of mid-30s by Friday. That's all I have for weather on the roof today. Let's take it back to you, Trey. Thanks, Matt. Rivers could remain fairly high for a few more days as the National Weather Service predicts more rain tomorrow. The Turtle Creek, which is currently at 10.9 feet at its highest point, could see upwards of 12-foot crests between Tuesday and Wednesday, according to Rod Donovan, meteorologist for the National Weather Service in Des Moines. However, with nearly all the snow gone, rivers should subside later in the week, according to Donovan. If Austin gets 0.75 inches of rain or more, the rivers could go up a little. And in other news, students came to class at Alden Conger High School today despite a threat found last week on a bathroom wall. School staff and law enforcement, including deputies from the Freeborn County Sheriff's Office, monitored doors and patrolled around the school Monday morning. The added security comes after a threat, which referenced today's date, was found written in a boy's bathroom in the school on Wednesday. The date is significant since it recalls a school shooting in Red Lake on March 21, 2005, when 10 people were shot and killed. Alden Conger school officials and law enforcement officers put the school on lockdown Friday, searching for weapons and checking students' handwriting. They did not find any weapons or handwriting that matched and agreed to continue forward with classes today. Well, that's it for today's top headlines. For more news about your community and your town, please go to austindailyherald.com. For The Daily Herald, I'm Trey Mew, saying that's the way it is today.